Hello everyone and welcome to this new how to play guide series for Soul Calibur 6. This will be about the new release DLC character, the long awaited and my favorite character, Huang Song Yong. This video will be bigger as we will go more in detailed information. The objective is to give you a solid start with the character, so let's check out the menu of this video. First, I will introduce you to the character with a quick overview. In the second part, we will see his unique mechanics and his little hits. In the third part, we will establish how to play his fundamental playstyle and resources usage. Finally, in the last part, we will review his most important combos and block punish. These are the first steps to make you effective with a character in a real battle. The comments will be noted with in-game icons, but I will be using the Soul Calibur community notation in my voiceover. Let's start! Huang is introduced as a character that is good at mid to close range with effective horizontals and powerful kick attacks. His former moveset has returned and let him play like an all-round fighter. In addition, in Soul Calibur 6, he has a new talisman mechanic that grants him new superpowers in exchange of draining his new life force resources. So far, Huang's identified strengths are long-reaching and fast horizontal attacks like 66A, 22A, A6, also 3A and 4A at close range to control opponent's movement. Good advantage after his throw coupled with fast ground-eating attacks like 66B, 4K, 1B. Guard stamina damage thanks to his powerful verticals but also his new life throw techniques that drains opponent's guard stamina on hit like 236B or 4KB. New talisman attacks and aura that help him in thought situations like 44B plus K, 22B plus K against zoners or bursting ground damage with 66A plus B extension. The weaknesses are few or no advantage on hit with pokes like AA, BB, KK, 3A. This can be hard against fast range character with I-10 attacks. Few spacing attacks that push back on hit or block, like 1B or 1A. It means he can't really push away close range characters. Finally, he has slightly more recoveries than a classic all round fighter. A lot of his moves are slightly unsafe on block at minus 12, like AAA, K6, K4, BA, 66KKK, and most of them don't let him sidestep the release of a reversal edge. Therefore, Huang is an all-round fighter with good range that will require good footwork and focus on neutral fundamentals. His flashy new talisman mechanic needs situational awareness, but played wisely he can turn the tide on decisive blows, and this makes him pretty unique in Soul Calibur 6. Huang's unique mechanic used talismans to emperor himself at the cost of draining his life force resources. You start with 4 life forces and can spend them until you reach negative 9, but you will suffer life penalty for the next round if you are at 0 or below. Since most life force techniques use 1 to 3 points, it's expensive and you need to use them carefully unless it's your last round. To help, you will also recover life forces. You will recover 2 points at the start of each new round. More proactively, the held version of his new Ying Yang Talisman Stance Kick Attack will give you 2 life forces by converting 50% of your guard stamina. And his Critical Edge recovers 3 life forces if it hits on a yellow health opponent. Instead of doing Emperor attacks, one can also use Talisman to put one aura on him by pressing A plus K and choosing a direction. It costs one life force but will stay the entire match while giving you passive bonuses. First of all, it helps you recover life forces when you get in critical condition. Green aura called Resolve recovers one life forces when you get to critical health left. The blue aura, Might, will recover two life force at critical guard stamina left and the red one, Devastation, will recover 2 life force if your opponent activates his soul charge. Auras also grants slight bonus effects on few attacks. This bonus will be healing, guard stamina or meter for each aura respectively. Finally, Huang has an ultimate aura, the gold aura called Iron Will. It's available only by cancelling his soul charge with A plus K4, costing 3 life forces. 
Your next attack in this aura will be treated as a counter it, so 4 AAB becomes a super strong guaranteed combo. The bonus effect attacks will give you life forces. This aura vanishes as soon as you do an attack, deals a deadly blow like an assassin. Huang at 3 regular lethal hits, generic A plus B, after a guard crush, and finally against an opponent with a full soul gauge. The other's little hits are related to his talisman usage. To reward you from switching auras, Fully Crouch 1B will lethal it as your next move, and you will unlock one little hit in each aura. 9B in Resolve at low health, 4 A plus B in Might at low guard stamina. Since it also parries vertical, it's a great counter when your opponent tries to crush your guard. And 8 A plus B in Devastation when your opponent is in soul charge state. It's a deadly counter if you resist impact his soul charge and then drain all of his soul charge timer in the combo. In Iron Wheel Aura, 6 B plus K will always lethal it, making it the fastest I-12 lethal it, ideal for block or rift punish. Finally, to reward you for managing or risking your life force, you will unlock either 2 defensive lethal it and 3 aggressive lethal it if you go in negative value. At plus 1 or above, B slide A in post GI and 2 3 6 A B in block finish. The other side in negative value, throw 4 A plus G, then the low attack 4 A A B, and finally Wooks in talisman kick. Try unlocking them progressively in the match if you still need to come back against a passive opponent. Huang is an all-round fighter who can play effectively in the three basic neutral strategies. We will review each one and list some of his best moves to use to construct a fundamental playstyle. Huang has good movement couplet with his great range that makes him comfortable in the waiting strategy. He has quicker whiff punish like 6A plus B old into Yin Yang Talisman B, good ranged launchers like 2-2B. He is also armored with good block punishes like his fast kick attack K4. He is even super effective to whiff or block finish from crouching state. In the preventive strategy, Huang is good at controlling opponent's movement with horizontal attacks like 2-2-A, 3-A and Y-Rising A. They have all good range and are safe mid attack. He also gets great reward when he catches a sidestepping opponent with counter it A6 or counter it 4 AAB. When he needs to prevent a rushdown, he can use 1B to create space and 4B to interrupt rushdowns. Against low opponents in close range, he has good counter hits attacks like counter hit 6B and counter hit K6. Finally, when you need to switch to the aggressive strategy, his 66A is a formidable tech crouching anti-movement attack that makes him move forward. Push forward by mixing it with mid verticals like 66BK. When you get closer, his throws are his main option to hurt your opponent's standing guard. Mix them with safer and guard damaging powerful mid attacks like 2-2A plus B. To use his talisman mechanic, your first action needs to be choosing an aura that will help you in the match. Resolve aura is good for beginners. Prefer using might against guard damaging character and if you feel confident about converting your guard stamina into life force. Finally, use Devastation if you plan to dominate or against a Soul Charge happy opponent. After that, your main concern will be staying around minus 2 and plus 1 life force. In that range, you can easily have access to both positive and negative lethal hits and don't suffer too much life penalty while still buying ready to burst all your talisman if the decisive round arrives. To do that, try not using life forces attacks outside of any decisive situation like round ending, ring out, etc. While waiting for these situations, your only worthy use of life force should be switching to might or devastation aura if you expect good time for your guard stamina or if your opponent may activate his soul charge. But of course, also to extend damage in combos. Burn nothing or only one life force and increase this value when you progress in the match. For the meta management, your critical edge has a great value of recovering 3 life forces. It will be more important to prioritize it as a round ender, both in whiff punish or combo confirm. However, if your opponent is too aggressive, it's better to activate your soul charge and try to come back with it. Finally, in soul charge, 
Huang gets access to both Diving Wing and Flame of Justice stance without going previously by his two Talisman stance. You only need to press 8B plus K or 2B plus K. It makes Sword Shot Diving Wing A a great tool to approach. You also get great aggressive power up to approach with a vertical attack with Sword Shot 66BKB. Finally, your mix ups also increase with Sword Charge 1KKK and the unbreakable throw Sword Charge 236A plus G. But be careful, this one costs 3 life forces. Here are some important combos with their damage extension cost. 6A plus B old Yin Yang Talisman B, Fully Crouch 3B, 6BB, with Critical Edge as a damage extension. 2-2A plus B, 4BA, with 6-6BKA, 2B as a 1 life force damage extension, and Critical Edge as a meta damage extension. 3B or 2-2B launchers into 6BB, with 6 6 old Yin Yang Talisman A, slight delay 4 4 B as a 2 life forces damage extension. You can include 2 3 6 B only worthy to finish your opponent or if you are burning your life force in your last round. Huang has also a good counter it game that you need to practice by confirming the Reddit Spark effect. Counter it 1 B confirm into 4 4 B with 6 6 A plus B, A slide B as 1 life force damage extension. Counter it 4AA confirm into B. Counter it K6 confirm into 4BA. With 6B plus K8 Diving Wing Kick as 2 Life Force Aura Bonus and Damage Extension. Counter it 66A Old confirm into Yin Yang A cost 2 Life Forces but can be worthy near the edge of the ring. Here are some of his most useful Lethalit combos with their damage extensions. Little it full push 1B old, back turn 2B plus K 4 4 B, with back turn B plus K 8 dive and win kick as one life force damage extension. Little it A plus B 2 3 6 K 4 B B, little it B slide K B plus K 6 B A A slide B, little it Yin Yang Talisman K reversal edge 4 4 B. With delayed 66A plus B, A slide B as one life force damage extension. When you block opponents' unsafe moves, it's important to get a maximum reward from it. Here's a quick punishment list. At minus 12, K4 or while rising KB from crouching state, you end at plus 4 on block. At minus 14, 4BB or while rising B hold Yin Yang Talisman B from crouching state, cost one life force but mid attack. Against minus 16 attack, 66 B hold Yin Yang Talisman A cost 1 life force or critical edge. Or full coach 3 kick 4 BB from crouching state. Against minus 18, 236 A B hold little it 4 KB costing 1 life force but as a mid attack. And at minus 20, 3 BB comes your most reliable mid punish attack with its damage extension. And that's it for this video, don't hesitate to give me your feedback about it. I hope this video will help everyone who wants to start playing Huang. He will also be a great companion if you want to focus on improving your situational awareness. For more information, check out the Google Doc. I also want to thank Nick Valencia and Crazy G for their awesome Ansel shots I used in the video. And of course Okubo-san and all Project Soul team who did an unbelievable work on that character. If you like this video, please share your positive comment, it's always a good motivation. Try to my channel to support the work and share it with your friends. I remind you that I'm a Soul Calibre coach and I'm currently offering a 30% price reduction for my lessons in December. So if you wanna try how a personalized lesson can be, it's the perfect time to book a lesson with a coach on metafight.gg at Hayate. And until my next video, take care of yourself.